Whoa, coffee! Yoink! I'm Stephen, this is our coffee. Now, this is abandoned, and today I'm going to try and prove a bit of a theory about a piece of road. It's specifically the piece of road I'm stood on right now that is actually out of frame, but that's fine because I'm in frame and that's all that matters right now. So, right now we are in Audley Edge, well, near Audley Edge in Cheshire, and I think that this piece of road I'm stood on is Roman. Now, that's going to take some proving. There's a large school of thought about the Roman roads in the UK, and there's also quite a lot of documentation, and there's none about this piece. This is just a theory. A game theory. No, I did the thing! Now I'm going to try and prove that theory. Now I'm not going to make an eight part saga about how there was some sort of ancient civilization that existed before everyone else did because that's a bit weird. But I'm going to hopefully try and prove to you, or at least show my theory as to why this piece of road I'm stood on is 2,000 years old. That's it, that's it, that's the theory. 2,000 year old road. Let's go. Coffee time. With the phone just somewhat wedged in a tree, I can try and describe what's going on here. Uh, future self is going to hate me, by the way, because I'm going to give myself a bunch of editing work to do. There's a car. But, there's another one. We're going to carry on anyway, so... Map time. This is only Edge, and as you can see, there's a road that comes out going west. Yes, west. And this road can eventually head off towards Buxton, Nakosil, that sort of area. And it's got a large curve in the road. It goes all the way from all the edge in a straight line, a little bit of a straight line, curves massively, and then carries on again the straight line. And you can also follow that straight line with other features. There's other roads and hedgerows and other field boundaries that follow that straight line. Which got me thinking, where has this straight line gone? And I noticed there's a spur coming off the road as you're going to all the edge. It's now just, well, it's this path that I'm on here, this, uh, this walking path, this horse path, forgot the word for it, I'll remember it in a minute. And um, it, it, is, it is straight, and it lines up almost exactly with the road on the other side. Now I was thinking, why on earth would this exist? Um, and I don't know of any Roman roads around here, but I do know that some of the mines around here have Roman history going on in, in them. I know this hill has been mined in the Roman times around all the edge, a lot of rich mineral deposits. Not entirely sure which ones, but I'm sure they're very rich. And uh, there is confirmed Roman activity in this area. So I'm thinking to myself, what if this is a Roman road? Well, surely you're going to find evidence of it going over the top of the hill. So if you follow Artist, not Artist Lane, if you follow this road towards Artist Lane and carry it on, what do you encounter? A huge disused quarry. Even in the 1800s thing, this thing was disused. How old is it? I have no idea. So I went back. I went back in time on the maps to try and find out how old that quarry was. Because in my theory is that this road used to go over the top of that hill and then they had to build a quarry there, they found something, so they bypassed it. With the road that's going on right behind me here, this massive curved road. So I went back in old maps to find out how old that curved road could be. And even on the oldest map in my possession, a 1790s map of Cheshire, the road is still here. This is really, really old. What I'm, whatever I'm stood on is really old. There's definitely a segment of this road leading on that way because it's dead straight and my phone is slowly, slowly falling out of the street. But yeah, that's my theory. And that uh, this road and the one kept on the other side is Roman and the road going back that way for a short period of time is Roman too. Hang on, coffee time. So yeah, that's my theory. Now I'm going to have to try and prove it. And uh, please don't shoot me down too severely if I'm utterly wrong, because this is a fun theory that I've been exploring now for the past few months. Um, been a very good research topic. More coffee, then we'll carry on. Right, it's ditch time. So let's try and explain that whole agar ditch situation we've got going on here. Let's get the camera zooming out. There we go. Uh, feel the view zoom. So I'm stood in the ditch here. Look, you see that's quite a clear cut ditch. This horse path, I've got the word for it, I'll remember it in a minute. Bridleway! That was the word! A horse footpath is a bridleway! So I'm stood in the ditch, that's just my life, and I'm gonna go over here, up there the trees are, this is the agar, that I think the ground is much more solid on the agar actually to prefer. Past the oddly straight tree, and um, over here there's a much shallower ditch, that I'm not gonna stand in because that looks deceptive. Uh, we go to a better place down here where it's a bit more pronounced. Oh, look at this! Wow, that tree! That tree's been burned, isn't it? That's a lightning strike tree, isn't it? I don't know much about it, but that looks like it's had a severe amount of, like, burn happen to it. Let's see, you can see some more of the, um, the ditch wall there. I'm going to point with my coffee cup this episode because I've got coffee. See that ditch going on that way, and the ditch is now getting more pronounced over here too. 
There, there is a feature that I want to show you that I came across on the way up to record this that might either prove or disprove my entire theory. Look, I can go over here now, I can actually see a lot more of what that other feature was too. This might be the road after all, you never know. So if I walk up, I'm, I'm on top of an embankment here. You can see that there's another flat level here, another embankment there. Very, very hard to see on camera. Also, I feel like there's going to be a Bigfoot walk through that woods at any minute. But I am in Cheshire. Could be Wayne Rooney. Anyway, let's carry on. Ugh, that was a football related joke. I don't watch football. See that tree stump? Ditch. I go area. Ditch. And if you go along this way a little bit, there's this mini bridge sort of thing. You've got two bits of wood here. I'm not saying this bridge bit's Roman. I think this has been dug in a lot later. But look, they've actually dug it through the main road surface to the ditch. And they've actually dug straight through the, um, like the mound at each side of the ditch. So either, if I'm going to find it's a Roman road, it's the closest you're going to get to a trench, but it's covered in leaves! And I reckon in summer this is pretty much impassable. So, uh, but yeah, look, there's a, there's a trench. Oh, this is a brilliant view. Look at this. There we go, you can see it. Right, coffee's gone away. It's finger time. Actually, no, where's my pointy stick? Pointy stick time, let's go. So, follow me here. Bank. Agar. Bank. Let's do that again. Bank. Agar. Bank. There we go. That's my Roman road theory. I hope. I hope it has some substance to it, and it's not just me going. Oh, look, a straight bit. I think I've actually got something here. Anyway, let's carry on with the last bit of the video. Then you can make up your mind in the comments below, because I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this. So, that's my theory. Um, Roman Road in Cheshire. There's a fair few, but there's none in this sort of area, which adds up, because there needs to be one. Uh, if there's a lack of something, it might mean there needs to be there. Why is my light balance doing this again? I've changed the settings. It's really annoying. I can't stop it. It might be the coffee cup. Let's see if I can hide it. Nope, it's still doing it. Anyway, so uh, that's my theory. Uh, I really hope that it has some, like, water to it. I don't know what the term is for that, but I hope it has some merit. And I hope you guys look into it a bit further, because there's people out there with a lot more knowledge than me and a lot better resources to find out if this is indeed a Roman road. So, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't become so already, um, you can become a subscriber by hitting that big old subscribe button down below. If you really want to, you can become a patron and give me money to buy things like this. This is coffee. Actually, yeah, you will be buying things like this, because after this video, I'm going to go and stop off that car or something and buy some more coffee, because I used the last of it at home. Coffee time. Yeah, treat yourself to a coffee. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So I'm trying to try and get. Yeah. It's not actually Greg's coffee. I made it at home, but I've got this reusable Greg's mug that I bought like what six years ago, and it's been doing doing real good ever since. It's really good coffee, actually. God, thank goodness I was recording.